Hey guys, it's me, Blue here, and today I just want to talk about something that I've really been wanting to talk about for a while now, which is basically what artists do I get inspiration from? And I know a lot of you people are going to think, oh, well, you get inspiration from da 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 da. <laughs> which, if you're thinking somebody else, some other artist from, then what I'm about to say then. You're wrong, <laughs> because I actually take inspiration from um, two artists in particular. Both of them do similar kinds of art, but their art styles are different. Um, one of them is, of course, Mick Transfox, which honestly their art is really amazing. And then we have the infamous Slugbox. And I'm going to be talking about them separately first. So first I'm going to be talking about Slugbox and their art. Now they, well one of their original characters, I think it's pronounced like Tenno or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll just call it Blue Alien Thing. Okay, so Blue Alien Thing is one of their OCs and um... <laughs> Blue alien thing kind of change. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I it feels so silly calling it blue alien thing, but um, their OC usually changes almost all the time when they draw them, which is actually kind of cool because you can see how their OC has changed over the years. By the way, the that OC is just too adorable. I can't even. But the reason why I look up to them is because like their line art is so clean and honestly like their anatomy is actually really good compared to mine because like mine is complete and utter crap compared to theirs. So yeah, that that's something. My anatomy is just horrible. It's terrible, okay? Like, it's really terrible. But, yeah. Um. I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, about. Slugbox. I just kind of had a brain fart there. Lol. End my suffering, please. <laughs> okay, but now we're going on to Mick Transbox, which. I'm actually known their art a bit longer than I have Slugbox, and all I have to say is just that their coloring, their shading, their lighting, it's so beautiful, it just gives this huge impact on the piece, and it just stands out to me, and it's just like, wow, okay, that is just, like, I don't know how to explain it, it's just, it just makes the art look a lot better in my opinion because it makes it stand out a bit more. It makes it feel like an actual piece of art rather than just a doodle on paper or on a computer I guess, on a tablet really, but like the shading and lighting just makes it feel like so much more than just a random piece of art, you know? And, like, the only, like, their eye style, like, how they do the faces for the characters that they draw is just really amazing. I especially love the eye style because it just looks so beautiful, okay? Especially with, like, the shading and lighting. It, like, their whole entire style is just beautiful. Just go check out both of them, please. Like, I know they might already be popular, but still, just just go check them out, okay? They are actually really great artists. They... I had to applaud them right there, okay? Had to. But anyways, that was just my random ramblings on people who I looked up people who I look up to in the art community, and that's all, so bye.